Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. We have a change in the wind. So something is changing. Now this is three and three is about laying solid foundations. So any change that's coming in is going to be beneficial for you in whatever area of your life it may be. So spirits saying there's change. Helpful people. It always helps to have good friends around you, good work colleagues that we get on with. Your family could be your partner supporting you. It's not the right time. So there might be something that you're wanting to change just now, something you want transformation in. But what Spirit's saying is it's, it is coming. It's in the wind, but it's not quite here yet. It's not quite here yet. Let's have a look and see what this is about. Three of Swords, the Moon card, yeah, not quite here yet, Page of Swords, High Priestess, the King of Wands is overall energy, beautiful central energy here, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, it's coming in, you see, there you go, there's your movement, the Chariot there. Trust and spirit in spirit in your journey here, please, Pisces. And there's your beautiful movement again, the Knight of uh, Wands. Now, this is about any kind of disappointment that you're experiencing in the moment. Now, it could be that there's disappointment. You're feeling disappointment because the change isn't happening quick enough or there's change you want um, and there's, you're not able to do much about it. It could also be heartfelt disappointment. So it doesn't have to be romantic, but it can be. So any kind of disappointment where change is needed here, uh, needs to be left behind. Now, it, there's storms in the background. This is temporary because storms don't last forever. So it can feel a bit stormy at the moment. Whatever area of life we're talking about here, Spirit is assuring you that change is coming in. And it would benefit you to be around supportive people. Enjoy time with your friends rather than people that are upsetting you. Being in environments that are good for you rather than, than environments that are draining you. Because there's more to be revealed here. Now, there can be an, a fear aspect to change as well. This can, Fear is an illusion. Uh, but sometimes people can be frightened if there's changes coming in. But spirits are assuring you that this is uh, this is meant to be because this is about creating things, new new things for yourself. We'll talk about that in a minute. But don't be frightened of any change that's coming in. Things are definitely going to be revealed to you in the future, but it's not the right time now. Just now, things will be revealed as we go forward. So there's more information to come in. There's more to learn about this situation. And it's going to start, you're going to start to see clarity. As things get revealed here, things that you're going to start to see the way forward. Now, what Spirit's saying is, use your intuition. Always connect in with yourself. How am I feeling? What am I experiencing? What am I seeing around me? How is it making me feel? What are the kind of experiences I'm having? Now, if, if you're around people that are disappointing you, it's time to get around people that do you more good than bad. That's what we're trying to say here. So use your intuition on that. Who's around you? What are you in? Where's the change needed? You might know there's change needed, but feel a wee bit helpless at the moment. It's not quite the right time. Things will be revealed. And you will start to see clarity. Connect in with yourself. You'll start to see what needs the areas where change is needed the most. Now, this can be clarity or this could be somebody saying something to you that helps with clarity. So there could be a bit of information coming in. It could be talking about it with people you can trust that helps you see the way forward as well. So this could be a Swords or Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy, but it doesn't have to be that sign. Um, it could be, like I say, a helpful friend that helps gain clarity. We could say something and you just understand what's meant to happen here. Now, this is about feeling stuck. Right now, we're holding on to something too tightly, so we don't want to be holding on to disappointments from the past, heartaches, uh, uh, people that are letting us down, and we don't want to be holding on to the fear of change because we get stuck when we're frightened and we don't move forward. So there's something we need to let go here. Now it could be that you're in an environment, for example, at home, where you've got a certain amount of security, financial security, but there's disappointments. The relationship isn't going well, and there's a change needed, and you know this. Have good support, good people around you, your family, your friends will help you here. Be honest with yourself about what you're feeling and experiencing here. Now, this could also be that you're in a job that pays the money, but you're not got job satisfaction, for example, and we're holding on to that job. And there's a fear of change. 
there's a fear of change and that's human that's totally natural but we want to tune in with ourselves and start to see how we can move forward and bring movement and not feel this stuck feeling uh, now it might be that we need to gather more information like i say it's not quite the right time but but you know that a change is needed here you're instinctively knowing deep down that change is needing to come now when we start to think that way we start to see the way forward. Like I say, we start to move from choppy waters. There's going to come a time where you're going to be able to move from choppy waters into calmer waters. And again, you can see the moon in the background there. And this is when things are starting to come to light. There's more things you're starting to understand better. You're starting to see the way forward here. Spirit's trying to help you move you forward uh, to calmer times. And things are coming to light. And the more that you realise things, the more that you're honest with yourself and you connect in with yourself, or the more that you realise uh, what's going on around you, because this is about your environments, people, your situations, how people are making you feel, uh, and you're more honest. You connect, when you connect in with yourself, you'll start to see movement. Clarity will come, and you'll move forward. So it might not be the right time just now, but you know it needs to come. And what happens is it creates movement. It creates movement. Now, when the movement comes, it can be quite quick. This is a very fast-moving energy. It's a major arcana card. There's no rains here. He knows exactly which direction he needs to go in to be around the right people, the right environments uh, to gain. He's listened to his intuition here and he, the chariot is moving forward. You will naturally move forward to calmer times here and away from the disappointing energies around. And what happens is we move towards what we're passionate about. Now, this is nights of movement. So there is definitely we're coming unstuck here. We're getting the clarity we need as things are becoming revealed because we're accepting that change is needed and we start to move forward. And it's towards what we want to create for ourselves here. So if you have anything you want to create, whether it be a more stable, you know, a home for yourself, uh, you might want to go towards a, a, another relationship. Um, you might want to start a course, like I say, if you're stuck in your job, you might want to, anything you're passionate about, develop a hobby. It's about moving forward. And it's about moving forward. The overall central energy here is your creative side. So you know what the change might be, you might start to feel that there's change needed. And he's a very entrepreneur energy. He's very creative. He knows exactly what he needs to do here um, to go forward to his happiness. Because when we're creating things that we enjoy, it brings us happiness. So he could be an entrepreneur energy. You could be starting up your own business. You could be going into another relationship here. Uh, if it's a relationship, uh, somebody that's passionate that comes into your life. Uh, it's an Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. He's very mature here. It could be an established person. He's very creative and imaginative. Established in that sense. Knows exactly how to create his own happiness here. Now, this could also be if there's been somebody that's a fly by night energy, whether it be a friend that's fleeting or a romantic partner that's fleeting that's causing you this kind of disappointment. You might feel that things are needing to change and we need a more stable partner uh, and we need a more stable friend. So it could be that. So we might be making decisions about somebody who's letting us down in that way as well. We want to be creating good, solid people around us. That's what Spirit's saying, good, solid environments. Now, we could also be um, developing hobbies that we have. We could developing skills that we have and investing in them. And that's going to bring us, we're going to feel more passionate about things. And it's going to move us away from any disappointments from the past here. But change is definitely in the wind. It's going to come. You're going to have to do it. Now, there's no decision making. All I would say here, Pisces, is that you're holding on to something here you need to let go. OK. Right, we've got abundance. Abundance. Great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming to you in many forms. Yes, skills. It's time to learn some new skills, study a course or start a new hobby. Okay, I hope this helps Pisces. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.